How y'all doing? Good, how you feeling, man? Yes. Please, I just asked Damien who win the race between you and Tyreek. Who you got? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> uh, that's obvious. You know, I'm going with me. I like me over anybody. against a, a different defense and, and giving your offense a chance to see some different things at this stage? First of all, you get to hit somebody else hard. Um, secondly, just getting different looks, getting a different energy, different vibe. Somebody that's, you know, really doesn't know how you're scheming up against them, the, your plays. Um, so you get to play honest and really get to work on your technique and your craft. Damien was saying that he forgot how heavy a helmet was while he was gone. Who? Damien, Damien Williams, who we just talked to. He oh, okay. He out last year, and he said the helmet was heavier than he remembered when he came back. Was there any sort of moment for you, kind of when you got back into football, that was felt weird or was uh, surprised you just after being away for a while? Yeah, what surprised me is the fact that camp is not like that we get to go home every day after camp. That's what surprised me after being gone, because usually you're in a secluded place or either in a hotel. And you go straight from meetings to your hotel room. No, not really any interaction with family. So that's a huge difference for me. What did you do on Sundays last year? I ran on Sundays. I would run 2.34 miles every Sunday. 2.34? Yeah, every okay. Sunday. Okay. Precisely. It's, yeah. It was the same route. I ran that every Sunday, and then I would watch ball. Um, still watch the team that I was on last year. Stay locked in with them and spend time with my family. What was the route? Where were you? I ran, so I would run from my house to 7 Eleven, which was about like one, or half of 2.34 miles. Y'all don't get me on my map tip right now. <laughs> 1.17. <laughs> what he said. But uh, run up there uh, and to hold myself accountable to actually running up to 7 Eleven, I would have my watch on. And I would buy myself a drink halfway through, and then run back. What did you get? What was the drink? I'll, well, this this summer or this past year, I was on the um, dang. What was the drink? Uh, my wife would know exactly because she had me bring her one too. Um, it was like a watermelon uh, un, uh, body armor. I was on the body armor. It's hard. The watermelon kiwi. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and where were you living? I'm sorry. Soto, Texas. Yeah. How many times did you get a Slurpee? Uh, only on 7 Eleven when it was free. <laughs> <laughs> Do you notice any benefits going home every night after training camp, or is there anything you miss about having that secluded training camp feel? Uh, it's got its pros and cons for both. Yeah. Like me being, in, being able to experience my past going, you know, to the sec being secluded from family, it gave me kind of a chance to iron out some things that I didn't quite get in practice or that I wanted to sharpen up, refresh. Now, um, a positive is that I get to go home and see my baby girl, put her to bed, see my wife. And I still get to do those things, but it's just not 100% that. Usually, I would be on FaceTime with my wife while I'm studying and, and working on football. And she would just be there in the presence through the phone. But now, it's in person, so um, just getting that, that Skin to skin, face to face contact is better. Matt Nagy often talks about your speed and what it can bring for this offense. Do you have a sense in terms of his, uh, I guess, enjoyment of what that can bring? Like, what do you feel like your role or what you can do with that speed in this in this scheme? Run fast, score touchdowns. That's that's what I feel like I can do. Um, I think I bring a lot more than just speed, though. Um, just my attitude and the way I approach every day. Like, I, I love being around got around the guys and the team camaraderie. Uh, that's something that I did miss also, like just not having that sense of the brotherhood um, and that team chemistry that you have. You know, I felt like a retired guy in a sense, like just sitting at home and watching guys that I used to play with or were my teammates, but I didn't get to, you know, physically be around them. So um, just being in the locker room and feeling that, I feel like I bring a sense of um, appreciation. Did you do anything else to pass the time? Yeah, so I'm into art. Okay. Uh, I did a couple tattoos. I know, it's crazy. You wasn't expecting it. <laughs> did a couple tattoos. Um, I paint, I draw, um, and 
Yeah, that's it. I'm really heavy into art, so I might have to show y'all some of my pieces. Y'all see a few of my, few of my uh, like things that I wear to game days. It's designed by me, so. Tomorrow too. Uh, I don't know about Saturday. I'm saving for the season. When Jameer Bird caught a touchdown, that touchdown catch today. You, yeah, there you go. You kind of like exploded <laughs> off the sideline, <laughs> celebrating, just getting back to the camaraderie thing. What's it like with you guys, the camaraderie at the receiver position? And does, that, does that take a little bit of time to build, given that you're you're new here, Jameer's new here, and you got a couple guys that are coming back? So uh, the camaraderie in our room, it, it didn't take really much time. We got a a good group of guys and dudes who understand like what is what it's going to take to take this thing far. So uh, we gelled, we meshed together quick, um, got veterans in a group who understand. And um, like, you know, when Demir score, when any of the guys score, I score. You know, I'm, I'm not a selfish dude. Like, I want everybody to shine because at the end of the day, if everybody shines, we all shine and we all get, you know, closer to our goals. So. I'm just looking forward to everybody just putting in work and reaping the benefits from it. It's going to be an interesting year in Chicago where you guys are internally expressing all this confidence in who Andy is as a veteran quarterback. The outside world wants to see Justin as soon as possible. What's that like inside, and, and how do you feel about both guys at this stage of, of being with them? It feels good to be around both guys. You know, I have uh, different relationships with both of them. So, um, obviously, I'm thrilled about catching passes from both of them. Uh, working with both of them has been amazing. Uh, and you can't forget um, the, another veteran QB that we have in Nick Foles. I mean, he's already been to the big game and won MVP. So um, it's a lot of great competition on the team. And you know, I know they're being pushed in their room just like we are across the board. So I look forward to you know whoever's out there um, just to get wins and, and make his thing go. What specifically about Justin stands out to you? Uh, he's very poised and calm. I mean, that's just his personality, though. Uh, he, he forgets things like quick, like any mistake or any, you know, if a receiver were to drop a ball, miss a route, or if he didn't quite have the throw that he would want, he just got a short memory and he'd just forget it and move on to the next play. You really don't usually see that in young guys, especially quarterbacks who are drafted at his level um, because it's so much pressure, but he, you know, he seems to handle everything really well. So I'm, I'm happy that that he has that attitude. David, what do you want to accomplish in the preseason games and what are you going to appreciate most getting back out there after a year away? Just playing football. I mean, a year ago this time, I'm standing in the backyard playing catch with my wife. <laughs> now I'm catching passes from NFL quarterbacks. So. Um, I appreciate every moment that I get, you know, uh, just showing so much gratitude. Thank God for the opportunity. And I'm just glad to be back out here playing football. Can she throw? Can she? Yeah. My wife, a nine-time All-American track and field, don't have nothing to do with throwing, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, she can throw. <laughs> uh, Damien was talking about with Justin about he sees a, a swagger in him it, that's probably uncharacteristic of a rookie. Do, do you notice that when you see him out there? Who is that? Justin Fields. Oh, yeah, he got swag for sure. Definitely got a lot of swag. Uh, I don't know what else you're looking for. Yes, he does. How much did you charge me for that tattoo? Charge you? Yeah. It depends on what the people, what you're trying to get. I mean, I don't want to go too big. I don't know about your skills. I'm skilled. <laughs> <laughs> Tattooed my mom, you know what I'm saying? So. Okay, that's, well, your mama love you, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fact. <laughs> it was nice, though. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Right. <laughs> Anybody else trying to get inked up? Holler at your boy. <laughs> Thanks, Marquise.